Is he sitting there now? Yeah, and we're not doing what we ain't doing what we ain't doing. All right, so we wait. He's going to come out this way? Well, we can wait for him. Shalom, we all here in front of Gino Jenner's church. On the blister church, wake him up. You got questions for Gino? I got questions. Why he out not here help, helping the people? Why yeah. he not in there teaching them the truth? Why he not out here dealing with us? Yeah. We got questions. We want answers. Hey, Shalom. Gino said that Christ is not black. He said the most high not black either. So you need to come out and come answer to that. Yeah. You got to bring out the scriptures too. Gino want to run his mouth? Hey, Gino, we, call, we calling you out. Hector, come out here. We out here together. We out here right in front of this church. So we're going to wait and see if Gino going to come outside. Yeah. He he's been challenging us for years. So let's see if he's actually going to come. Out. The ongoing clash between Pastor Gino Jennings and the Iowic Israel United in Christ. Hebrew Israelites represents a significant conflict within the realm of modern religious discourse. This clash is characterized by fundamental differences in theological beliefs, scriptural interpretations, and the role of racial identity in religious practice. These interactions often highlight the stark contrasts in their beliefs and interpretations, and they can be quite heated. In debates, Representatives of the Iowic often challenge Jennings on his interpretation of scripture and his rejection of their racial identity teachings. They argue that Jennings is ignoring the true identity of God's chosen people and failing to acknowledge the significance of Old Testament laws. The Iowic also criticizes Jennings for what they see as his adherence to a form of Christianity that has been distorted by centuries of European influence. Jennings, on the other hand, challenges the Iuic's focus on race and their interpretation of scripture. He accuses the Iuic of promoting divisive and unbiblical teachings that detract from the universal message of the gospel. Jennings often points to the New Testament teachings of Jesus and the apostles, which emphasize love, forgiveness, and salvation for all people, regardless of race or ethnicity. He also criticizes the Iuic for what he sees as a legalistic and rigid approach to Old Testament laws that are no longer applicable under the New Covenant. Hebrew Israelites, maybe two or three hundred, came out the outside of the campus and surround the whole campus. <laughs> Amen. Surround the whole campus. And they actually felt this though that I should have stopped having service to come outside and accommodate them. So they was out there lined up with their purple and gold shirts and whatnot. And many of them were shocked because they didn't realize the campus was that big. To understand the depth of this conflict, it is essential to explore the historical context of both movements, the specific doctrinal differences, and the broader implications for their followers and the wider religious community. The Iowa Hebrew Israelites emerged from a broader movement that began in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. This movement sought to reclaim the identity of African Americans as the true descendants of the biblical Israelites. Influenced by the teachings of various leaders and scholars, the Hebrew Israelite movement emphasized a return to the laws and customs of the Old Testament, which they believed had been neglected or misinterpreted by mainstream Christianity. The Iuic, founded by Bishop Nathaniel bin Israel in the early 2000s, has become one of the most prominent groups within this movement. They focus on awakening African Americans, Hispanics, and Native Americans to their perceived true identity as Israelites and encourage strict adherence to Old Testament laws. In contrast, Pastor Gino Jennings, the founder of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, represents a more traditional Pentecostal Christian perspective. Jennings' ministry, established in the late 20th century, emphasizes the teachings of the New Testament, particularly the message of salvation through Jesus Christ. Jennings is known for his direct and often confrontational preaching style, which challenges what he sees as false teachings and unbiblical practices within various Christian denominations and religious movements, including the Iuic. The theological differences between Pastor Gino Jennings and the Iuic Hebrew Israelites are profound and multifaceted. At the core of their disagreement is the issue of racial identity and its significance in religious belief and practice.
So while they was marching around the campus, many of them, some were saying all type of foul things out of his mouth. And then he was walking, he said, do you see this? This Pastor Jennings must have been a big time drug dealer before he came into church to get this. No, Elohim gave it to us. The Iowic Hebrew Israelites assert that African Americans, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true descendants of the biblical Israelites. This belief is central to their teachings and influences their interpretation of scripture and prophecy. They argue that the historical experiences of these groups, including slavery and oppression, fulfill the curses and prophecies outlined in the Old Testament. According to the Ayuic, reclaiming their identity as Israelites is essential for understanding their history and destiny, and it serves as a call to return to the laws and commandments of the Old Testament Pastor Gino Jennings, however, rejects the notion that the identity of true Israelites is tied to any specific racial or ethnic group. He emphasizes a broader, more spiritual interpretation of Scripture, focusing on salvation and righteous living according to Christian doctrine. Jennings argues that the message of the New Testament transcends racial and ethnic boundaries, and that salvation is available to all who believe in Jesus Christ and follow his teachings. He views the Iowix emphasis on racial identity as a form of divisiveness that detracts from the universal message of the gospel. The Iowix Hebrew Israelites interpret many biblical prophecies and passages through the lens of racial identity and the historical experiences of African Americans and other groups they consider Israelites. They see themselves as fulfilling the role of the Israelites in the Bible, who were chosen by God to be a holy people, but fell into disobedience and suffered the consequences. The Iwick's teachings often include a focus on the curses outlined in Deuteronomy 28, which they believe explain the suffering and oppression experienced by African Americans and other groups. They also emphasize the importance of observing Old Testament. The clash between Pastor Gino Jennings and the Iowic Hebrew Israelites has broader implications for their followers and the wider religious community. It highlights ongoing debates about the interpretation of scripture, the role of race and identity in religion, and the relevance of Old Testament laws and contemporary faith practices. For followers of the Iowic, the teachings of the group provide a sense of identity, purpose, and community purpose, and community. They see themselves as part of a larger movement to reclaim their true heritage and to live according to the commandments of God. The Iwis's emphasis on racial identity in Old Testament laws resonates with many who feel a deep connection to the historical experiences of African Americans, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Hispanics and Native Americans. However, the group's teachings also create a divide between them and other Christian communities, leading to tensions and conflicts. So the so-called Hebrew Israelites thought if they would be outside, they set speakers up in flyers. When the brothers told me about it, I felt good. <laughs> I can't begin to express to you the joy that rung in my soul because the Lord showed me that visions, the vision of religions protesting, but he never told me when and who. But they done it when the apostles was here until they said, we got to stop these men. Before they turned the world upside down, they didn't surround T.D. Jakes. They didn't surround Creflo Dollar. They didn't surround Benny Hinn. It's the truth of God that's causing a disturbance here. Followers of Pastor Gino Jennings, on the other hand, are drawn to his emphasis on New Testament teachings and the universal message of salvation through Jesus Christ. Jennings' ministry appeals to those who seek a more traditional Christian approach that focuses on repentance, faith, and holy living. His confrontational style and willingness to challenge what he sees as false teachings attract individuals who appreciate his bold stance on issues of doctrine and morality. However, Jennings' criticism of other religious movements, including the IUS, can also lead to division and controversy. The clash between Jennings and the IUIC is part of a broader conversation within the wider religious community about the interpretation of scripture and the role of race 
in religious identity. It raises important questions about how religious groups interpret their sacred texts and how they address issues of race and identity in their teachings and practices. For many mainstream Christian denominations, the debate highlights the need to engage with and address the concerns of groups like the Iowis, who feel that their historical experiences and identities have been overlooked or marginalized. It also underscores the importance of dialogue and understanding between different religious groups, even when there are significant theological differences. For religious scholars and theologians, the clash between Jennings and the Ewick provides a rich case study in the complexities of scriptural interpretation and the interplay between religion, race, and identity. It invites further exploration of how different groups read and apply their sacred texts and how these interpretations shape their beliefs and practices. The theological clash between Pastor Gino Jennings and the Ewick Hebrew Israelites is a profound and multifaceted conflict that touches on issues of racial identity, scriptural interpretation, and religious practice. It highlights the deep divisions that can exist within religious communities and the challenges of reconciling different beliefs and interpretations. For followers of both Jennings and the Iwick, the debate is not just an academic exercise, but a deeply personal and spiritual matter that shapes their faith and identity. For the wider religious community, the clash invites ongoing dialogue and reflection on how to address the complex interplay of religion, race, and identity in a way that is faithful to sacred texts and inclusive of diverse experiences and perspectives.